Hello, how are you? You're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nengi Edmond. And if you're here for the first time, you have stumbled and you have fallen into my arms. Welcome to my channel. And then if you're an old subscriber, you're an OG. Thank you for staying with me. introduction the questions I, I think they were selected by my friend and I think after answering these questions you get to know me better so keep watching and do not forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and make a comment on this video I'll see you in the video my full name is Victory Nengi Epele <laughs> okay Victory is my first name then Nengi is my native name and the full name is um, Tamlo Nengi Ofori and it means nothing is greater than God in my language. So that's my full name, Victory Tamlo Nengi Ofori Edmond Epele. This name is long ago. <laughs> um, I'm from a beautiful small town in River State, Nigeria, called Opobo Town. Opobo. O P O B O. Opobo Town. That's where I'm from. I was born in River State. I grew up in River State. I'm currently living in Garden City, Hakot, the best state. <laughs> the best state in Nigeria, River State. You have to, you have to be in River State to understand why River State people are the way they are. If not for River State, where would the where would the most beautiful girls come from? <laughs> where would the hardworking and handsome men come from? <sniffs> Proudly River State. Now here we do. This channel is a safe place. It is a place where you just come to release all that energy and positive energy. You talk about some relatable stuff. I love, I love to do relatable stuff. There are some things on YouTube that are not relatable at all. That is why I created this channel to talk about real life issues, real life matters. To talk about relationship. Sometimes marriage, sometimes sex. But it's mainly a relationship and a vlogging corner. I'm going to enjoy my vlogs. I love vlogs a lot because when someone is vlogging, I feel like I am there with them. You know, there was this person that vlogged about her travel to Paris. Oh my god, I enjoyed I stayed up. It was like an hour vlog. I watched and I was like, this is content, man. I watch every bit of it because I've always loved Paris. Paris life. It was like I was with her on that tour and it was really refreshing to watch. I was happy. I was happy with her. Like, I wish I was here with this person. I wish I was having the same experience. So, we are going to be doing that too. Blogging, relationship, and real life matters. And anything you really require of me in the comment section, that is within this scope. Just let me know. And if you are at this point and you have not subscribed, I am looking at you. What are you even doing? What are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on this video. I studied physiotherapy. Physiotherapy is a very interesting course. It is a branch of um, medicine that has to do with movement and posture disorders or any illness or dysfunction that affects the muscles, the bones, the nerves. In the neurological system, we have different branches of physiotherapy, so it's depending on the branch. It has, physiotherapy is a really wide course. We have um, pediatric physio, geriatrics, orthopedics, neurology, cardiopulmonary, 
it's a really wide course and it is a good one i i found it very difficult studying fisio i won't lie and i was just imagining myself i wanted to study medicine at some point i really wanted medicine but studying physio i said so this is this is the leg that i wanted to use to study this medicine eh? but then i finished and i'm currently i'm running an internship program in a facility in river state so that's what i'm currently working on and i have other things on the side i'm into beauty and all that you will get to know very 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 soon so stay with me i love to have a lot of fun bring the good vibes bring fun my way bring crews my way and i'll be right there i love to hang out with my friends i love to go to new places i'm an adventurous person i like to try out new things new places new food with my friends i love to gist a lot my gist is my gist is massive my gist is spirit especially about shows entertainment content creation i love that a lot i like to have good conversations and the beautiful thing about having this conversation is that when you're having those People call it gossip, but I feel like there is no way you are going to communicate with another individual that you're not going to pick one or two things. So I learn a lot from my friends. I love to meet people. I love to practice the art of listening. It's weird, right? But I'm learning how to give people 100% of my attention. You no, know, sometimes Happy you're talking birthday. to people and people just to listen. Me. To respond Happy so i'm learning it is now a hobby to listen to i'll give you um, and not listen to respond second. or yes. listen to also share to my story, story. but all just to if listen to it. people i love listening Please to people, people. Comment from you. i love Hi. to have so fun five. i love to swim oh. is this swim <laughs> i've not swum before but i know i know that I go to the pool and I insert myself if you in water guessed, and I just meditate. Let me I do that I a lot. That you didn't get I play a lot of games. Games. More physical games than online games, but I play a lot of games. I play Scrabble, Ludo. I love to watch people play volleyball. I'm not grounded in volleyball yet, but I am getting there. Um, table tennis is another one that I love to watch people play. Um, another thing I love to do hmm, is to try out new recipes. I like to cook new stuff. I like to try out new recipes. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I'll give you um, a five second guess to guess my birthday so if you get it please leave a comment for me you have a prize so five four <laughs> my birthday is august 23 did you get it if you guessed august let me know i know that you didn't guess august so don't go and say you guessed august only if you guessed august are you feeling my rhymes? <laughs> my birthday is August 23 and 23 will always be my lucky number. I have four sisters and two brothers. I have sweet sisters. I can't miss this. I must tell you. My sisters are really, really, really sweet people. There has been no time that they've given me any reason to feel small or any time they talked me down or did not support anything I was doing. Even if it's the smallest thing or what doesn't make sense. You know, they'll still try to see sense in what you're saying. I love them so much. My brothers, oh my God, my brothers are troublesome. Really, really troublesome, but... 
Do they love me? Yes, they do. And my mom, my mom is the most amazing human ever. She has been, she is, and will be my number one fan. Yes, and I look like my mom, by the way. She's a beautiful woman. You will get to see her very soon, don't worry. Let's just finish this our little introduction first. inspired me to join YouTube okay I'll start from when I started watching YouTube I started YouTube in 2013 I think that, that was about the time I got my first good phone so I started watching YouTube YouTube was a place I went to whenever I missed any of my favorite shows Nigerian Idol, Go Down To Me Search, Big Brother, Big Brother, Niger Whenever I want to do my assignments, I always go to YouTube. I saw it as a place of solutions, a place of solutions for various things. What are you looking for? YouTube is one of my favorite places. And I got the idea to open YouTube in 2019. I went for a program, a school program. There was this program where our school sent us to another state to gain experience. I was sent to Abuja with my friend, praise God. And you know, we we're just having fun. We went through a lot in Abuja, from getting an apartment to settling down the apartment. The apartment was very expensive. <laughs> so all that process of getting a place close to the hospital, the hospital I did my program in was um, National Hospital Abuja, is in the central area. So getting an apartment close to that side was tough. Settling in was tough. Abuja is freaking expensive. Or was then, at least for me as a student, then I was, I said, what's the meaning of this? I'm staying two weeks, I'm paying 150K. I was tired. But then I said adjusting. So, you know, when we started going around the city, taking tours, taking pictures, doing, you know, my friend suggested that we, we created a YouTube channel and vlog and vlog our experiences. And I didn't take it serious then. I'm like, I beg. You know, when you have money that you'll be doing vlogs. But then I had fun. And had it been I did those vlogs then, I would have been really proud of myself. That was when the whole idea started. And I think she started then, but I waited to this point. Thanks to my procrastination. So I started, it was it was hard to start this year because with this my program going on, I'm really I'm really busy sometimes. Some days I'm busy. I have my days when I'm free, and those are the days that I plan to be shooting. I'll let you know very soon. So I have I had gotten to a point where I was tired of excuses. I knew that I was I was meant to be creating content and I was wasting my talents, gisting people, giving people content and they did not appreciate me. So I have brought it here. I plan to share positivity as much as I can. My favorite color. Look at me. Just look at me. I, you can see my favorite color right here black and white i think most of my clothes are in black and white i love black cars i love white cars i love black phones but then i'm using a white phone right now most of my stuff are either black or white monochrome has this chicness it gives to your looks if ever you are confused just do white or black I love it so much. It gives you this big boss lady vibe, rich auntie vibes look. Hmm. You have asked a foodie what happy right food is. <laughs> okay, I love um I'm a reverse girl. Let me start from there. So anything seafood is spot on for me. I love seafood afang soup so much. See, annoy me and give me afang soup. I'm going to give you a hug. 
I got the best for you, but in that moment, you're my best. I love Afan soup, soup and semovita. And then I'm a fan of soft, hot, juicy porridge yam. See, don't even, in fact, it's dragging, it's dragging with this Afan soup because at any point in time that you give me porridge yam without leaves, I don't like when you put those leaves in it. Porridge yam with fish mm. or goat's meat. If you're a yam lover, you should understand what a juicy, soft porridge would do to you if you're a yam lover from eating that porridge yam with enough juice. I'm sorry, I'm already. I'm already getting to you, I know it. <laughs> yeah, so I love curry jam. I also like um, coconut rice. It's grilled fish. Grilled because there's a different taste that thing gives, man. Let me stop here. That is my favorite. <laughs> Those are my three favorite foods. And I would pick them anytime, any day, if they're on the menu. And that's on what? Period. <laughs> My turn on to be a kind-hearted person. We like to say I don't owe anybody anything. I don't owe you. You owe people something. You owe people respect. You owe them privacy. You owe them kindness. Kind-hearted people are sensitive people to me and those are one of my favorite people. I love thoughtful people. I love people that spread positive energy good vibes and people that don't keep madness i've always been a fan of we have issues we settle our issues and that's that so if if you are a person that you know when you have arguments with your peers or your husband or your partner and you start the malice thing don't come close just stay right where you are you know we can we can have our differences that's what life is all about you may not agree on things that i am rooting for or i agree on doesn't mean that we cannot find a common ground or let's say i offend you or you offend me we should move on it's it's just a disagreement it's just an argument we should be able to move on after that we shouldn't you know tight our chests some people will say, because I really want you, I'm, I'm keeping malice with you because I want you to know you did wrong. Am I good? I know I did wrong. And I'm going to apologize. And there are different, you know, scenarios where some people don't get to apologize when they're wrong people. It's really bad. I don't support that. And please, if you have offended somebody, ouch, you know what I mean? If you have offended somebody, please have court see apologize without saying but so yeah people who keep malice are turn offs for me i can't deal i don't want you in my space and i want to be in your space because you'll be sharing bad vibes and you see this life is for cruise and enjoyment so yeah I will give you three reasons why I love myself because the list is endless. I love myself because I am a resilient person. I keep moving no matter what, no matter what's happening. I don't let it to get to me so much. You will see me smiling and I'm going through a lot. And then most times people don't believe that I'm going through a lot, but it is my lot. Everybody has gone through a lot. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't smile or because I don't like what's happening. No, it's just a moment in your life. It should not affect your whole mood and life. And I, I share that philosophy. So I am resilient. I keep moving. I keep smiling. I keep going. I am not a wicked person. I'm a kind-hearted person. Oh, that's my toxic trait. That's my toxic trait. I don't have mind. That's why I like myself. I don't have mind. Because if I have mind, Hashtag stay wicked. That be my slogan. The third thing I like about myself is that I am open-minded. I love when people make corrections without mocking me. I love constructive criticism. I am. Um, I 
can be corrected no i am not opinionated i am not a stubborn good i'm really really open-minded and i don't get to judge people before knowing them it's really wrong to see a very beautiful lady or a very beautiful man and assume that they don't know anything they are not smart they are not intelligent because they look that way or you see someone because of how they appear you know you, you just make up something in your head about them please we should we should really stop that if we do that so yeah these are the things i love about myself thank you for watching this video and thank you for staying with me throughout my ranting and banting and talking and blam 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 Thank you. Please turn on your notifications to know whenever I drop a video because I'll be dropping videos soon. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you. I am expecting to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.